Um, I didn't tag anybody, so I'm just going to wait and see. Whoever wants to come on can come on. This is going to be um, a really short video. Um, I'm just going to show you some tricks of things you can do with leftovers. So, I had mentioned, um, I guess I'll wait for you guys to come on. Hey, 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 hey. Um, hey guys. This is gonna be a short video. Um, I had mentioned to you guys the last time we were on that I had some um, leftover yellow rice and I was gonna make some shrimp fried rice or something like that. Um, I decided to freeze the rice because um, when I made the seafood boil with the potatoes and the um, corn, and all that seafood, I felt like that was enough. I didn't really need shrimp fried rice, so I froze it. Anyways, um, I thawed it out. So now I have this bag of leftover rice. Not a lot of rice, so I mean, it's not a lot for a lot of people, just me. Hold on a minute. Yeah, just me. You know, you guys know that... Um, I live alone, so most of the time when I make food, I'm making food. Hey, Kimmy girl, I'm making food for myself. So um, I share sometimes with my neighbor, but most of the time it's like I eat it today and then tomorrow and then that's it. So anyways, that was the rice I had left over. And this is the rest of the seafood that I had left over because I could not eat it all. So what I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove the, um, the corn and the rest of the potatoes. So now what I have left is, um, some shrimp, lobster, crab, and some scallops so I'm gonna take that and mix it with the yellow rice and make like a seafood paella so that way I don't have to throw away the rice and I'm kind of over the seafood boil so I don't want any more of that so what I'm gonna do is just put it all together and make a seafood paella and that's what I'm gonna have for dinner ah, let's see who's on I have my glasses on um, Look good. Thank you, Kim. You know you do too, girl. Look fabulous all the time. I said I gotta get some of what you getting. But um, okay, so y'all know when I whenever I cook, it's always cooking, sipping with Prissy. So um if you wanna go get your drink, you can go get your drink so we can sip along. So today what I'm gonna be making is um let me move this. I'm going to be making, I guess you could say a rum punch, but I don't really have all the ingredients for a rum punch, but it's going to be kind of sort of a rum punch. So I'm going to put um, some grenadine over my ice. Don't that make the ice look so pretty? And then I'm going to add... <clears throat> a little bit of agave that'll kind of jump in for the simple syrup um i'm going to add some dawn q um spanish vodka 
If you ever go to Mexico, Puerto Rico, or any of those island, Spanish island countries, the president of the country drink this. All the, all the big wigs drink this. And it's cheap. It was like $21 in the liquor store, but it's like really good liquor. To me, I like it better than Bacardi. So it's good. So I'm going to put some of this. I have a lot of ice in there, so that's why I'm, you know, being generous with the vodka. I mean, with the uh, rum. So now I'm going to add a little bit of Welch's grape juice. I'm going to add a little bit of orange juice. And then last but not least, I'm going to add some pineapple juice. And there you have it. Voila. I'm going to mix it up. And um, I could put, you know what? Let me get fancy. I'm going to put a little strawberry on top. Some strawberry. Make it real fancy. She fancy, huh? She fancy, huh? Let me rinse it off. Okay, so then I'll cut it. With my cheese knife. <laughs> and um, I'll do it like this. And um, there you have it. How pretty is that? That's so pretty. Oh, that tastes good. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Now that we have that out the way, I'm going to put a little bit of um, garlic oil in my pan. Let that heat up. Uh, while that is heating up, do, 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 do. Um, I'm going to put a little bit, since we have an um, shrimp paella, we'll put a little bit of obe. Because I don't have any um, clam juice. Because usually if I did this, I would do it for the liquid. I would use clam juice. You don't want a lot of liquid because the rice is already cooked. And you don't want to, you don't want soft rice. I like my rice al dente. So, yeah. <coughs> I'm always coughing when I start cooking. And I, I haven't even used any seasons yet. That's a shame. So, yeah. So, I got that rice going in there. Mixing it around. Then I'm going to throw in um, throw in some um, peas and carrots. Can't have seafood paella without peas and carrots. So, 
for you, those of you that are just coming on, um, I didn't finish up the the seafood, um, the seafood boil that I had. So, and um, I never used that yellow rice. So now I'm using the yellow rice and the uh, uh, seafood to make um, a seafood paella. So I'm gonna take, and I want, I actually want all that butter and garlic to go in the rice as well. So we're gonna dump all of this leftover seafood with the garlic and all that good stuff. We're gonna dump that in here and start mixing this stuff up. You guys see what's going on here? You get it? Then we're gonna throw this here thing in there. This thing. So guys, you know, if you um don't sip and don't want a cocktail, you can still sip. Just go get you uh some sparkling Perrier water and um join the sip fest. So now we're gonna I'm gonna make up a little bit of I'll see how much juice this makes. If it doesn't make a lot of juice, then I'll make up a little um chicken bouillon mix um um powder mixed with a little water and add it for the juice. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I need to go put on my glasses, right? Because I can't really see. Um, let me go get my glasses. Okay, so yeah, we're making some seafood paella. Yeah, these are different here. Oh, I can't even see. Hold on. They foggy. They dirty. I can't see. All right, let me see what you guys are saying. Um, hey, Shana. Tell your mama Sharon I said hi. Haven't seen you guys in a long time. I'm making seafood paella. I think I'm gonna switch burners so you guys can see better. Let me tell you guys, I can smell, I can smell the flavors already. Yeah, I'm cooking in my pajamas. I have like on my pajama lounge pants and just a, a t-shirt, so. You probably can see through, well, probably can see, probably giving y'all a little nipple gate, but oh well. If you got it, flown in. So anyway, I moved up to this here burner. So this is, um, for those of you just coming on, this is the leftover um, yellow rice that I had from the pepper steak. I froze it. And this is the leftover seafood I had from the seafood boil. So I just threw in some um, frozen peas and carrots. And I'm making a um, seafood boil. So I'm just going to um, add a little obey in here. Since we're making seafood paella, put a little obey. That's uh, low sodium obey. I like this obey too. I don't know if you guys ever tried it. This is garlic and herb. I'm gonna put a little bit of that too. Garlic and herb obey. Okay. So we just gonna mix this stuff around. Yeah, this is what I'm having for dinner, guys. Because I didn't feel like I was gonna make some homemade chicken soup. Because I have been having a feeling for a uh, taste for chicken soup, but. I don't know, I wasn't in the mood, but I was hungry. So I said, you know what? 
I don't want to throw the rest of this seafood out. So why not um, take the rice out the freezer and throw it out and make like a seafood um, paella. So yeah. I mean, I guess I could have brought some clams and mussels. I don't like mussels because I don't like that doodle -doo sack. But I could have brought some clams and um, put them in here. But I'm just trying to use up what I have. I wasn't really trying to, you know, go all out buying stuff to start a whole new meal. So, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit. I was going to add a little bit of... Um, Chicken bouillon mixed with some water, just to whatever. But I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Because like I said, I really don't. I just want it to loosen up the flavors. But I don't really want to um, cook the rice. Because the rice is done. And I like my rice al dente. I just did that so I could loosen up um, the garlic and herb flavors that are from the seafood boil. And um, the little bit of um, seasoning that I just put in there. I put some um, garlic and herbs obey. And I put some regular um, obey. So, yeah. Then you got a little lobster tail. A little lobster tail in there. Got a lot of shrimps. Got some scallops in there. So, yeah. Hey. You know, you don't want to waste food. Because me, I've thrown, like, some food away from a seafood boil. You know, if I had a lot left over and my neighbor was at home to give it to him, I've thrown it away. So, I'm good for throwing stuff away. But, um, I don't know. I was hungry. So, I said, why not do this? See, those nice chunky scallops and stuff. So... It smells so delicious, guys. It really smells delicious. Okay, so this is a different lipstick. If you guys like this lipstick, this lipstick is, um, I thought the other one was my girlfriend Shelly was selling it, the candy burgers, but it wasn't. It was Christian Dior. I got it in a gift pack when I brought my perfume. But this lipstick is nice. This one um, comes in like a lip gloss too. And it's like, it's not red, red like the one I had on for Valentine's Day. This one is more with an orange, um, or, or, oh, excuse me. It's like an orangey red. So, um, very bright. Yeah, so my girlfriend, Shelly, um, she sells candy burris, um, dildos, vibrators. <coughs> <coughs> vibrators, um, lubes, um, all kinds of fun toys, edible can um, panties, but she also sells cos the, the cosmetics, um, lipstick, foundation. Only thing I've ever tried was the lipstick, and I like it because um, it has a matte finish. It's not like a greasy, uh, glossy, and it stays on. You can drink your, you can drink your drinky drink. You could um, sip water, you can blow your nose and do all that other stuff and wipe with the tissue and it stays on. So yeah, I think that's the new thing now um, because I believe that Christian Dior did the same thing. It was like, it just would not come off. So yeah, so I think that's the new thing, making the lipstick last long. Um... So, guys, I'm on YouTube. Hi, CJ. So, I'm on YouTube now. You can find me um, at Cooking with Prissy. So, you just go to YouTube and then in the search, you put Cooking with Prissy. And I'll pop up. So, I have three videos loaded so far. I have the video um, that I did with, um, with my immune shots. Um, I did a immune shot video where um, it's a wellness shot. It's supposed to help uh, combat against COVID. Um, it's ginger, cayenne, pepper, and lemon. So I showed you guys how to make it. I posted that. I posted, I believe, my pepper steak video. 
and I posted um, the seafood boil for Valentine's Day. So it was like a pre-Valentine's Day seafood boil. So yeah, those are the three. And I'll post this video so people can see what to do with their leftover seafood after a seafood boil. And if you have yellow rice, yellow Spanish rice, you know, you can mix it all together and create a meal. So I'm gonna turn this off now because the seafood was really done. The rice was done. I don't really want it to be mush. So, you know, I just really wanted it to cook long enough so the green peas and the carrots can um, thaw out because they were frozen. But um, that's it. I told you guys this was gonna be quick. I had a crab leg left over, big old Dungeness crab. I had a lobster tail left over. Let you guys see. I had a lobster tail left over. I had a big Dungeness crab left over. See all these shrimps I had? I had a whole bunch of shrimps left over. And I had some scallops left over. So I put it all in a pot with um, some Spanish yellow rice that I had uh, left over from another day. And I just cooked it all together. So now, bam. Seafood paella. So that is it. I told you guys... I told you guys this video was going to be super short. So, yeah. That was it. So, what do you guys think? Let's see. Uh, nice color. Thanks, um, Shauna. Um, yeah, my girlfriend Shelly is um, selling this lipstick. I love it. So, um, if you guys are interested in this lipstick, inbox me. Um, let me see what CJ is saying. Okay, so you got the COVID shot. Good for you. Um, I actually have a little bit left. Um, because I made a big bottle, uh, CJ. And I have and I saved my empty um my empties from when I had purchased it. Cause they didn't charge it like $2.99 in the store. So um, so this is it says um it's a wellness shot. So I made it myself. So this is the leftovers. Um, I, I use cayenne pepper, I use lemon, and I use, because that's what they had on here, ginger, lemon, and cayenne pepper. So, I use that. I, I didn't know, because they don't tell you on here what the exact ingredients are. So, um, I researched it, went on Pinterest, went on, um, YouTube, went a few places, you know, to see the difference. Because you can also, if you purchase turmeric root. You can also put a piece of ginger, a piece of turmeric, which is good for you, uh, and your ginger and lemon. So you can add that. I couldn't find any turmeric roots, so I just did what they did, um, the ginger, lemon, and cayenne. So, CJ, if you go to YouTube and put in Cooking with Prissy, you'll see it. It'll say Wellness Immune Shot, and I have the video there, and you can watch it. And you can make them yourself. I'm telling you, this stuff is good. I drink a shot a day. And if you drink a shot a day, it, it burns a hole in your throat now. I'm not going to lie. That cayenne is hot. But I'm telling you, if you take a shot a day, man, you just feel good. I've been so healthy since I've been taking these shots. Healthy, have, haven't had any problems with anything, you know. So, yeah. Um... Cayenne pepper, lemon, and um, ginger. Okay, CJ? So, yeah, so, yeah, that was my leftover rice. So, I just finished making uh, seafood paella. So, that's what I'll be having when I get off this live. So, I wanted to give you guys um, my um, face without glasses um but i can't see for two peas i don't know i just i mean i can see i don't walk around my house with glasses i can see but when i start reading stuff i see better with the glasses so sorry y'all have to get glasses i didn't want to give you guys my um oh right 
right, CJ, right. That you're that CJ. Okay, I wasn't sure. Right, right. Yes, with the two daughters. Yes, CJ. Yes, I watch your little videos sometimes. You be having me cracking up laughing, honey, when you be giving the word. Yes. So, um, and I and I and I've actually watched your videos where you were making stuff for COVID as well and everything. I think you were making hand sanitizer and some other stuff like that. So yeah. I was checking you out, baby girl. So yeah, try it, CJ. And when you go to my YouTube, guys, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm trying to blow up on YouTube as well. But, you know, I'm a beginner and I'm just starting. And so the only followers I really have is my Facebook followers because, you know, these people don't know me from a can of paint. But I do get random people because I was surprised. My video was on, wasn't even posted a week. And I had like 25 um, viewers and stuff. I was like, wow. So, I, and they wasn't none of my Facebook friends. So I was like, wow, where these people come from? So they know how to find you on YouTube. But, you know, I want my people to, you know, hit me up. Okay, Shauna, you have a good evening as well. So, yeah. Um... But that's it. So yeah, this lipstick. Um, I'm trying to think what. Oh, it's called Go Hitter. Yeah, Go Hitter. That's what the this color is. The color is Go Hitter by um, Candy Burris. So if you guys like this lipstick, you can um, inbox me and I'll give you all the information. And if you like my other glasses that I wear, um, the ones that everybody like, those are the oversized. Um, oversized um readers i'm selling them on my web page um i'm still working on the tax issues so that's why i've been posting the link but my web page is um um nhkproducts.com nhkproducts.com um huh <laughs> see oh cj i'm reading what you're saying about somebody who tried to hook you up um i don't know if you said it was my cousin or somebody um tried to talk you into um something about a hookup or whatever i don't know girl look let me tell you something girl i'm old i don't remember too much of nothing so um if you try to remind me of things that happened way back in west bubble who i do not even remember and if you forgot the name and you're younger than me, you know I don't remember the name. But, yeah. But thanks, guys, for tuning in and um, checking out my seafood paella video made with leftovers. And don't forget to um, visit my YouTube page and like and subscribe. Uh, Cooking with Prissy. Later.